Hi guys, this is episode four of Watch This Space with Mitch and Tommy, and we're down at our HMO conversion in South End on Sea, and this is week 11. 11 yeah. So it's week 11. If you haven't seen the other episodes, click the link, and yeah, we're gonna take you inside, show you around, see what progress we've made, and yeah, hopefully you'll be impressed. So today we are week five on the loft. Um, we've already started to drop the scaffold, so the tin hat's gone. Um, so we've already started doing the V-Lux, the cladding on the front. Um, we walk pretty much watertight on the dormer as well. So yeah, we start cladding around the back as well. Um, yeah, that's the reason for dropping it really. Felt with the roof already. Yeah, so we're, we're watertight. So yeah, like I say, it's five weeks on there. So it's, it's been pretty good progress. So we're up in the loft. I think episode three, we were about two weeks into the loft yeah. conversion. So we're, we're a further three weeks on from there. So this is week five on the week loft. Week five up here, yeah. And as you can see, we've made massive amounts of, uh, of progress there. But as Tommy said outside, we've, we're fully watertight now. We've had the roof felted. It's all been formed. The internal walls are done. We've even done first fix plumbing and electrics. We can start to see Freshly that. Freshly tested up here, aren't we? We're, we've we had close up really. We've rain over yeah. there and there's no rain inside. No, so. only where the windows are. We're waiting for them, ain't we? So the windows are in order. So let's have a little bit of a walk around, look at some of the detail. So, um, so as you can see here, we're fully insulated. I think that's a hundred mil Celotex internal is between it, the studs, ain't it? And yeah. And is it a fifty mil we'll over Celotex top. overlay? Um, as Tommy just said, we've got windows on order. But as you can see here, this is going to be one of the bedrooms, which is about nine square meters. So uh, again, we're just working on layouts, but. The, bed, in there the bed on this one yeah. goes here, um, so this works really well. And you've got the decent size room again. Out, you've got the ensuite there, which works really well. So you're going to have toilet, basin, and the shower is going to be situated in here for the shower. Obviously, you're putting in all of the vents that they need, need to be vented outside. And as you can see here, we've done uh, all the first fix plumbing in copper pipe. We always do copper pipes, so that looks really good. And we've also got fire protected cable. That's obviously going to be for the fire alarm. Um, that's all been installed as well. So we're pretty much yeah. yeah we close up really, can't we? Closing we, up. So I think that's that's the idea, ain't it? We close up. Plaster is a booked in for the next couple of weeks. I think they're going to work through the Christmas period. Plaster over Christmas. So then... we walk back into a start second fix painting, and we're on the home straight, really, don't we? So absolutely. So obviously another thing is importantly the stairs are in really nice detail on the stairs, the way they flow through. Um, so that's that's been a, a big progress this this week. Obviously waiting for the railings to come in there, but we've also got a little skylight here, which lets light into the into the stairwell. Again, we're waiting for the lantern to come in. So yeah, really good progress. Got V-Lux, lets in some additional light. I like this room. Yeah, it's nice. And actually down here, we've done a little bit of detail just to give us a bit more Floor space. I'm not sure what it's going to be used for yet. It's a bit of a dead space, but it's a cubby. I like read a book. Yeah, a little bean bag down there. Lock yourself away. Yeah, <laughs> watch the world go by. Um, we're going to put a, put a window in there that let a bit more light through. So this is a really nice room. I think this is about nine and a half square meters as well. Ensuite. Again, we're getting good at these. Real nice shower area, basin. And toilet. I think the layout's getting better and better, ain't it? Layouts are getting better. Yeah. I think, did we decide a little kitchenette in this area? Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah, because there's quite a bit of room over there. So kitchenette. Kitchenette, TV. And you see maybe a couple of bar stalls or one bar stall watch the TVs. Yeah. So nice um, area. Do maybe like an overhang on the work surface, little stall. Yeah. So that's us. First fix done. Plumbing, electric. Good progress. Here, what, five weeks, ain't it? It's, um... Five weeks. So this is our. Uh, what are we, 11 weeks off? 11 weeks in total, yeah, five weeks off here. It's um, making progress. So we'll work our way down, let's go have a look downstairs. Yeah, so though, as you can see, the stairs are in. It's a really nice detail, that staircase. Rather than a straight run, it, it flows round. And, yeah. Um, it was all in the prep, so kudos to Luke, but it absolutely fitted like a glove. Uh, so really happy with that. Um, yeah, so this area here would have been that cupboard area. Yep. Um, so. Obviously, we've kept that free to give us our... Because sometimes you use that as a bathroom, don't you? Yeah. Like some of the other projects. If you so. don't go up in the loft, sometimes you can utilise this space as an ensuite. But because we needed the uh, yeah staircase to go up into the loft to create the two rooms, 
Um, that's nice. Well, it's nice though, don't it? Yeah. It's, it's good to get that in as well, mm. so we can get the material up. We can start insulating. Obviously, all the boards have got to go up, so it just makes life easier. So, um, all yeah. in the planning. So stairs are in. So, yeah, wandering through. Uh, we we'll start off in this room, but again, an absolute monstrous room. You can see the level of detail in the uh, first fix. Looks really, really good. Real nice detail. Again, we do everything. I mean, again, you close this up, you don't see any of it, but you know, attention to detail. We've got some really good contractors that are working around us. Um, and again, as Tommy said, we're, we're really working on the floor layouts. The more that we do, we're getting better at them. We've spent quite a bit of time going around, didn't we, in the end, even on here? It's just to get it right. Yes, yeah, so on this plan, you can see there we've got spray paint and we were putting where we want certain sockets, where we weren't want the worktops, where the bed's going to go. Obviously, you can see here. Bed, we're going to have two bedside units. And again, we're going to do a real nice, um, I think the, is the rad going to go there? I think the rad goes there. Yeah. We're going to have a kitchen work. Kitchen area, area again, yeah. Under the counter fridge, nice overhang on the worktops. We've got like, a kitchen stall, uh, like a bar stall, so you can do some work there. Um, maybe a wall unit, TV. This is a great room. Do you know what, and that's what we've said before, the size of some of these rooms, it's nice to put the kitchen, even though we've got a lovely kitchen downstairs, it's nice to have the kitchen areas. Got a 37 square meter kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it's nice to, if people want a bit of personal space, ain't it? A bit of a work area if they're working from home or whatever. Yeah, they, I mean, you they, wouldn't have to leave the room. No, they're, they're perfect. Uh, you know, you can make yourself a cup of tea there or whatever, so it's really, really good. And you can see ones. here as well, the level, and this is another reason why you drop your ceilings, put your metal frame. I think that's about 200 mil drop is that Obviously, you've got to run your uh, your wastes from your en suites upstairs, and you can use that void quite nicely. So, well, you can good see, ceiling nicely, aren't you? I mean, we're tall. Still, we're above six foot, and I mean, it's I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm six foot three. I don't know what are you? I'm sure I'm six foot two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you still with heels? I'm six foot three. <laughs> yeah, uh, but you still, even though you've dropped the ceiling two hundred mil, I mean, look, you've still got really good head heights, and and those weight wastes obviously run outside. So, yeah, happy days. Great, great bedroom. Done the en suites. Big, slightly bigger as well to allow for a 900 quadrant shower rather than an 800 quadrant shower because we think they work really really well just gives you that little bit I mean if you're quite big I think even the layouts in them now isn't it? you've changed now I think the, even where the radiators go above the toilets don't they to give a bit more room as well yeah that's it we always find that the radiators are always in the way because they yeah. are a little bit tight so we've decided um, yeah as you can see here with the pipe work here we're going to have the toilet and then we're going to put tower the it. tower rail above because you only need a short tower rail because it's a, it's a one person room essentially so you only need a couple of towels, maybe one. So we're going to put them above just to utilise the space better. Yeah. So working our way through, this is actually one of the smaller bedrooms, isn't it? It's the only one with an ensuite, isn't it? Yes, this yeah. will have the off suite. And actually we've reconfigured the off suite yeah. down there slightly. We had a lot of to and fro in there, didn't we? But I think we the layouts... We were going to change it again the other day, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the architect's but... pulling his hair out. I think we've made about Mental. six variations on the floor plan on this. But again, this is... But you know, know what I mean? It's key because when we go through to that area now, you'll see why. Oh, it's, it's spot on there, isn't it? Yeah, you'll see why. I mean, it makes such a difference because it didn't really work earlier. But this is what we say about you see it on a plan and you run with it. But it's only until you start forming it inside the house. You see it. Yeah. That you see that actually there's there's actually a, there's a better way of doing it. So again, pretty self-explanatory got obviously internal stud work because obviously there needs to be acoustic performance between this room and that room uh, our wall makeup will be double acoustic boards either side with uh, obviously fluffy installation in the middle and that'll give us obviously we'll have to acoustic test these rooms um, so it passes uh, the sound test uh, so it's, it's, you need to ensure that your, your wall makeup is, is spot on there again fire protected cable and you can see actually here the fire protecting cables running from the they were, that'll be for the sensors upstairs and that's yeah. running all the way down down to the ground floor and that's all going to go back to the control panel of the front door so so even on some of the windows some of them are okay aren't they but we're replacing yeah. majority of them i think there's 16 in total in a set of french doors um cost of that was about five two fifty was it five two yeah we got a trade account with a local um, supplier haven't we so yeah we we change all them ourselves don't we so it keeps the cost there if we were to go to a, a contractor for that it would it cost us could be good 15 grand easy that. um so yeah there's a couple of skylights with all as well which ain't part of that ain't there yeah but the skylights that's what's yeah they're a little bit more pricier ain't they but you pay five thousand two hundred for 16 windows and a set of french doors and you think I think the two skylights are two and a half rounds. So like, but even with the skylight, 
we didn't need to do it, but we just think it'd be a nice feature yeah. and a nice, make it a nice environment down there, don't we? So I think that downstairs space is so large, you need that additional light to yeah. come through. So that would be really nice. But yeah, the, the, the skylights, they do, yeah, they are quite costly. But um, be again, worth it. 5,200 yeah. for 16 odd windows and a set of French doors is. And Luke can install them, won't he? So. Yeah, so obviously the in house team can supply for yeah. those as well. So um, again, we're saving on cost. Keeps the cost down there, so happy um, days. What else is there? Same again in the bathroom, don't they? Same again, bathrooms. Uh, even on this level now, uh, first fix. Uh, we're pretty much there, aren't we? Come in, lectures are pretty much done. As, yeah. we, as we work our way through, you'll see the guys finishing some of the first fix plumbing. But yeah, the guys are about to move downstairs. And, um, I think the boys will be boarding next week, I reckon, won't they? So, yeah, boarding. We'll be in good position by Christmas. Yeah, so as we mentioned earlier, we've actually reconfigured this. So before, this stud wall just basically run in. So that area there was going to be the off suite for bedroom three, but it didn't really work. There was no real space. One for of them it. was just a toilet next door, wasn't it? it this That's was right. an ensuite. Then we had a separate toilet next door, which we don't really need. No. So this was really narrow. We've got a big window there. So there was no real place to put the shower tray. So what we've done now is we've actually lost the communal uh, single toilet and we've made this slightly bigger and what we're going to do there with this bedroom is we're going to do back-to-back -back shower trays in in this area now and that just works much much better showers than, in these, this is yeah i mean this is going to be a massive off suite uh, but it just works really well and actually we've even configured the bedroom towards the back which is bedroom six i guess and i think for that room that this is an off suite for this makes it a little bit sweeter doesn't it that you've got a nice big it's, bathroom as well so it's yeah, because I mean, that is the thing with yeah. a bedroom with an off suite is always less desirable than a bedroom with an on suite. But I think the fact that it's not too far away, you know, it's probably you know, a few metres up yeah. the hallway. The fact that this is such a nice size as well. Um, make it a little bit uh, it'd be, make it desirable. More, more desirable. But yeah, I mean, if we, if I go the other way, we'll be able to see how that is back to back. Uh, yeah, so we basically reconfigured this. So before this will come right out here, Brunette. Yeah. So, it was just, it was almost like a family bathroom size. It was just too much. So where we've gained the space next door by doing the back-to-back -back ensuite in what would have been the communal toilet, we've then been able to reduce this size of this ensuite massively. This, we're actually, this room is massive now, isn't it's it? Massive. Yeah. We're actually gonna move the front door to here. Yep. So as you come in, I mean, God knows what this room is. I mean, it's probably another 15 square meter room, this. Yeah. I mean, these rooms, 15 square meter, bills included, you know, these are thousand pound a month bedrooms, especially to the high specification that we do them, but works so much better, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, like I said, we, we messed around this layout for hours, didn't we, in here? Yeah, uh, we changed it so We times. finally got it in the end. I think we're both happy with it, aren't we? So This works much better. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're utilising all the windows as well, which is important, but back-to-back -back showers, uh, trays, um, you've got, yeah, that's gonna be the tower rail there, yep. is it on this one? Because yep. this is so big, the tower rail's going in a normal place here, but basin, I think the toilet's right over there, yeah. So Perfect, is, isn't it? It's just such a great space. Um, yeah. Got it's another really, kitchenette this side, haven't you, as well, Mitch? So, yeah, we can then utilize yeah. that space at the back. It is like its own self containing kitchen in here, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, we'll put a little kitchenette in there. Yes, it's a great room, this. Not a self contained flat, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much as good as a studio. So, yeah, happy with those alterations. I think that'll um, make the room far more desirable. More desirable, higher rents. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Talk about obviously the, for the fire alarm system earlier. Obviously, got the call points at the tops of the stairs. So, obviously, that'll be a break glass call point. So, in the event of a fire, obviously, that we someone can activate that and that will alert uh, everyone else within the house before uh, they exit. So, that's really important. It's obviously part of the fire alarm system. So we're down in bedroom one. Again, like upstairs really. Uh, just, again, you can see the first fix electric's gone in. Fire protected cable. Um, it obviously forms the internal walls for the en suites. We're having a big clear up in here. This is this is Lewis. This Brother is, Lewis. Brother Lewis. He was left out of the um, the, uh, the staff intros uh, in the last episode, but this is Brother Lewis. Um, we're having a good big clear up because tomorrow we've got a HMO tour. So we've got investors coming down, we've got solicitors, estate agents, commercial brokers, mortgage brokers, and we're taking everybody, I think there's about 50 people on a HMO Could tour. Could be more. It could be. I've actually had a hundred <laughs> registers. So I don't hope they don't all turn up, but uh, yeah. You're all more than welcome, though. It's, um, so um, we're going to be taking. 
people around to show them because obviously we've got this, we've got Leamington, we've just yep. finished Haygate, which we're going to go over to in a bit and show you what this is going to be like at Good the end. Idea, yeah. so it's four local projects which we're going to go around, show everyone and um, yeah, just sort of educate everyone. It's a free HMO tour, there's no upsells. We're just giving tons of value and hopefully inspiring people to um, yeah, so push on and do their own projects. So, um, so I think we mentioned in the last episode, didn't we? We was messing around the layout in this room as well. Um, another change. So originally the ensuite was in that corner, um, which we didn't feel worked as much, did we? So we've, we've lost the window over there um, and actually done back to back with the next door's shower. Um, I think it just works better, don't it? It's give us more room in here. Um, it's just a lot easier to do them back to back, isn't it? Yeah, just... especially getting the waste and everything out for the toilet. I mean, we've got an external wall there. It just, it makes more sense, doesn't it? So, it works out, I think that works Yeah, better. another change made. I think we're, we're happy with it. So, yeah, another okay. nice room. We've lost the window. But you've got again, a lovely big window there, haven't we? So, window there, and I think just, it just makes life easier. So, um, yeah, slight variation on the floor plan there, but I think it just works a lot better. So, the last change. That is the last change. Last change. It's the bowling alley. The bowling alley, yeah. It's so big, ain't it? It's um. Oh, talking about the. I mean, this is a. As we've said in other videos, it's a 37 square meter lounge diner. It's massive. It's so big. Even even up to the other day, we're thinking, do you know what? Does it make sense just to put another bedroom in? Because this is such a big space. And now that we've done the knock through, we've put the, the uh, skylight coming skylight in. Skylight yeah. in the roof. It's actually probably too big. It, it's and this is where we was the other day again, wasn't we? Like originally there was a room shown there, wasn't there? Yeah. Before we done the loft, um, but I think we both we were having an hour because basically this area here can create another nine square meter bedroom, but it's not quite enough for then maybe another three square meters for your ensuite, and then your kitchen diner. We don't want to make this tight, do we? Because then you could go from having a nice space to then it being quite tight, even though you've then created another bedroom. So you. You could do the room, but then not the ensuite. But then you'd need another off suite, which then that would then reduce the size of bedroom one. So we've decided we ain't doing after it. Going around the houses, time and time again, we're just going to leave the bowling alley. Leave it where it is. It is. Leave it. And like, <laughs> Joe, what I Mitch, I think we can make this a real nice area, though, can't yeah. we? The, it's going to be a great. And that, that's what sets us probably out from everyone else. That we've got a lovely seating area, nice yeah. kitchen area, dining room table area. Yeah, uh, that's part of spaces, isn't it? To make I it think, that nice. Nice yeah, environment. That's the idea is, you know, rather than cram the bedrooms in and have everyone all yeah. sort of living on top of each other. Let's make it a nice. Yeah, really nice space. I mean, we will have to be clever with the kitchen layout on yeah. this. So uh, I think we've got Cowden's coming down to do a kitchen design, but we'll have to break up the space with an island or a return on the, yeah. on the worktop or something because it's just such a big space. You know, but we could have like big dining room tables, like big benches with, yeah. um, you know, if you do something really nice, cool, maybe some hanging lights and stuff like Make that. Make it nice, can't we? Um, and then work, this area would be lovely at the back, won't it? Working, so obviously our kitchen worktops, we've left that on there because our kitchen, um, I think it's about 600 there, so our kitchen worktops will tie in quite nicely with that. And then this area will be almost like a, a little snug, a lounge. I think the TV's going up here, so the skylight's going to be dropped in. French doors at the back. So this is going to be such a nice space. Give you a little the summer, them doors open, it'll be a nice garden there, isn't it? So. Out, out to the garden. So, um, yeah, that is the bowling alley. Bowling alley? <laughs> looks the best of moment. Do you know what? I was just thinking the same. Looks, I mean, it looks like the house that Jack built. <laughs> I think originally we was only going to take off a bit of the blown render, and that means now we've lost, once they've started, we've lost most of it. That's so it's like gone out here with a bulldozer, but I mean, it had to be done. I think we had a chat the other day, didn't we? It was like, I think we're, we're bite the bullet and render all these elevations, won't we? So. I think we need to, I mean, a lot of this blow. Yeah. Um, so, it's another cost, isn't it? But I think we're bite the bullet and we're. For the longevity yeah. as well, having a nice rendered house all the I time. So. We might do some evaluation as well, but again, long, for longevity. I think the thing is for us, we'd rather do it properly first time than rather than have to revisit when now it's live, wouldn't we? So, I'll no, come back to it. <laughs> What's we got? Uh, you can see actually like the extent of the uh, the dormer now, the loft conversion. So that's getting cladded the same as the front, is it? Black cladding. Um, yeah, so around the front we've done, um, yeah, like a black plastic cladding. All the gutter in. Big, big ass. We're hoping to get the windows and doors uh, delivered before Christmas. So it'd be nice to put the French doors in at the back. Yeah. Uh, and get secure. Uh, 
but yeah, in terms of in terms of the outside, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and the garden was done last time, wasn't it? So the last few bits to finish off. But the boys are busy elsewhere at the moment, aren't they? So yeah, yeah with um, as you know, yeah, Leamington. So um, yeah, I think that is the update on Kilmarnock, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, there's lots, lots happened. Yeah, so lots happened. So what we can do is we're going to take you around to uh, another site of ours that we've just recently completed, which is uh, we call it Space 44, but that's Haygate Avenue, and that will give you some sort of idea of what this is going to look like once we have completed in about. What have we got left? 20, about 18, 19 weeks? About that, yeah, I think that takes us to the end of March all the time. End of March done. time, but you'll get an idea of what this is going to look like, so let's head over there. So here we are outside Space 44. This is a project that we completed literally a couple of weeks ago. Same again, this is a seven bed HMO, uh, which we've converted, and we're going to take you inside, show you around. We're going to show you a couple of rooms, the bedroom and also the communal area, to give you an idea of what it's going to look like, or what Kilworth is going to look like once it's finished. So come inside, we'll show you. Coming through, this is the community area. Yeah, We've gone for that signature peach on the front door, <laughs> teal coloured front door. Beautiful, We've, isn't uh, it? We basically restored that uh, teal front door, kept the original door. It's nice to keep some original features, but um, painted well, it in a nice teal colour. We also replaced the glass, the like reeded glass double glazed unit, so it looks the nuts, but come inside and take a look at the bedroom. Yeah, so as you can see here, this is basically a show bedroom. This is what uh, this is how we sort of advertise the rooms and this is, you know, the level, isn't it? This is the sort of level that we, um, yeah, we do the rooms to, but this is sort of to give you an idea of, of what Kill's going to look like. I mean, that front bedroom's much bigger than this as well. I mean, that's yeah. over Kill, that's a 15 square metre room. I think this is about 11 and a half. So you can just now sort of get the feeling of how big that room is. decor and furnishings can be pretty much mirrored. But in terms of, yeah. I mean, you know, we've just finished another project before this. It's slightly different, but in terms of, yeah, the sort of finishing, this is the sort of style that we go for. Real high end. We, we do obviously uh, achieve strong rents off the back of the rooms um, because of the way we furnish these. But, you know, in terms of standard, I think we're, we're well up there with the best. So, you know, decent furniture and um, yeah, just real nice color schemes, really nice place to, I mean, I, I would live here myself. So we always sort of base it on that. So if you know you're living yourself, then, you know, you, you know you're going to do quite well, so. So this is the communal kitchen, dinery, lounge sort of area. And again, um, you know, this is sort of a standard kitchen that we put in. It's a Howden's kitchen. Uh, but you can sort of see the sort of standard. Uh, we always go for, yeah, probably a mid-range kitchen, compact laminate worktop, just a uh, real hard wearing. Uh, but again, this is the sort of, yeah, look at feel. I mean, now you can actually really understand the size of Kilworth because this is a 26 square meter kitchen diner. Kilworth is 37 meters. So me and Tommy are just talking about, you know, how far does that go out? You know, I think you're at the back of that garden, mate. Right? Kilworth, Kilworth probably goes to the back of that fence. So that's going to be such a big area. Um, and as we said in the video, we probably need we need to do something like this: return on the yeah, kitchen, break it up, or a central island just to break up because it's it's the bowling alley. It's, it's bowling space, alley. But, yeah, just to give you an idea, but that's the sort of standard. So, yeah, in the next 18, 19 weeks, you know, it's going to be episode whatever. We'll be there. Kilworth should look like this. So, um, yeah, just to give you an idea. So this is the second property which we brought you to last time. Um, I think we've just completed on it, haven't we? Just um, completed, yeah. So that's three weeks ago. Um, we've actually been working on the site uh, for two weeks now. Um, we lost a week in between um, just due to labour being busy elsewhere. Um, but yeah, we've had a good two weeks at it, so we've pretty much gutted inside, um, garden cleared. Um, so yeah, come inside and take a look. Of course, it's changed. Yeah, so we literally, just literally clearing everything at the moment. The boys are even up top dropping the chimney, so don't stand too close <laughs> to that at the moment. This was um, the mofro, this room. Yeah, all purple, you yeah. still see the remains of some of it. Um, but yeah, the, old, the whole house is completely different now. Now we started clearing it, so. Yeah, see the true beauty that the house is. How many layers of wallpaper we taking? I off? don't think no wallpaper's ever been taken off these, taken off these walls. So. <laughs> just keep going over it. Yeah, they've just papered over paper. Um, but again, this is pretty much bedroom one, isn't it? So, bedroom good size one. room again. So obviously, chim same, chimney breasts were coming. That's out. going. Yeah. Ensuite in the corner, back to back ensuite. Yeah, same yeah. again. This house is obviously a little bit smaller than Kiel, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the footprint is big, um, but yeah, still good. Because obviously when we come here before, did we say we was going to make it an 8-bit HMO? So we were leaving it 
on the original footprint, weren't we? That's a seven bed. Seven bed. But now we've, because we'd like to change our mind quite a bit, we're now indecisive. doing the loft and it makes a nine bed HMO. So. Right. Yeah, so we've actually gone from maybe doing a seven bed HMO on the existing footprint to now a nine, nine bed, bed HMO. So it's going to be like on Kilworth, Three yeah, stories. a loft conversion, yep. but obviously it's part loft conversion on the outrigger as well. So Yeah, it's a bit of a bigger loft, but yeah. Yeah, so another room just carried on clearing really, stripping out all the old copper pipe work. Um, another chimney's got to come down yet. Yeah which the boys are starting upstairs. Um, yeah, because now we're doing it in the loft, we're going to strip these out from the top to bottom, Yeah, the, the chimney comes out completely. So yeah, chimney out, drop, the, uh, drop it all completely. Um, and yeah, we patch up the roof up the top once the dorm's in. So happy days. Cool, let's... Yeah, I think that helicopter's gone now. Happy days. <laughs> um, yeah, so were you saying that we're going to... That's got to be, we've got to lose this year. They drop that. Um, yeah, and then that creates the, the open plan space. Yeah. So sort of, as you can see there, this is back again. Helicopter's back. What you, done? Roll, what, you, what you done? Let's roll for you. They're looking for us. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's yeah. it. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously it creates an open plan space. So like we did at Haygate, you know, the kitchen wraps, wraps rounds. We block up the windows that this area creates the, the sinks. I think they're looking for I us. I think it's, uh, it's on a wind up. It's an ambulance. Does the ambulance land a surface? Yeah. Take three. <laughs> I think the helicopter's gone, but um, yeah, again, we're going to block up the windows. Obviously, we'll replace those because they're the old old windows, and then obviously that'll create the space for the sinks. Take out that. Who's that? We're going to always block up the single door window, and also we'll open up the back. Um, take that away. Again. Same as what we've done, Kill with create some nice French doors. So this will be the kitchen kitchen diner uh, again just a really nice size so yeah. um, let's go in the garden and have a quick look there because we've started to clear that it was literally really badly overgrown so paving ain't too bad That's apart it. from the uh... so if you look back to the previous episodes you would have seen a quick glimpse of the garden couldn't but, even see out here could you it was literally overgrown but now we started to clear it back uh, de decent sized garden actually we've got some nice brickwork so obviously we'll just tidy that up uh, what we do is slab, slab we astro that or slab it slab, slab it. it again yeah yeah a bit of a courtyard feel again i suppose low maintenance courtyard feel we're going to replace uh part of the fence but yeah there's not too much work to do out here so i'm getting deja vu so well, all of the houses <laughs> are the same sort of layout um Similar sort of house is that Victorian style, always loads of uh, chimney breaths. So obviously that runs through the house. And actually you can see up here that this is actually shared with next door. So we're gonna have to run some steels in uh, and put a steel plate in. Uh, so we'll do that just above the ceiling and then we'll remove that all the way down into the kitchen. That will create then, I mean, this is a really big space. So uh, yeah, now it's all been stripped out, you sort of get a feel for the size. So this is going to create a bedroom, back-to-back yeah. -back ensuite, and then another bedroom here. So, Good size rooms again, aren't they? Nice size room. Um, there is an off suite here as well. There's in an there, off suite, yeah. which is always for bedroom three. So again, it's a bit, bit tight. Yeah, so obviously chim chimney breasts are coming out. You can start to see that. We've got one in each of these rooms. Um, obviously, we're trying to keep hold of the bricks because obviously we will sell those on so you'll yeah, we'll reuse them yep yeah, so we have to repatch in the chimney again don't we or not yeah the blocks but i mean these ones aren't too bad so yeah that is pretty much where we are it's pretty much it from leamington isn't it so um good progress in two weeks two weeks get russ and tom out. are flying <laughs> <laughs> 18. So there we have it. That's episode four of Watch This Space. We hope you enjoyed the series. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you like the video, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm.